Hello everyone, and welcome to the semi-final of the Rental Battle Tournament. As I announced at the end of the previous video, the round 4 match against DS Gaming, we won Swiss by winning all of our matches, which means we face the number 4 from Swiss, because we have a top 4 cut. The number 4 player is Texas Man Gaming, the only one in top cut that we haven't actually played against yet. The others are DS Gaming and Galate Does Games. Now, Texas Man Gaming we haven't played against yet, but we have played against their team. Because they use the same team that Galate Does Games uses. Team 10. And it looks like if we want to win this tournament, we'll have to beat Team 10 again. Fight! Twilus and Vullaby. Vullaby just continuously stays as my opening because they can do some cool stuff and they can U-turn. That's nice. Clang is a good switch at this Vilas. Unfortunately, it does get Thunder Wave, but I can gear grind, I can deal some good damage, so I'm still pretty happy with how this is all going. Bite, going for the Power Flinch. Ah, that's not looking good. Come on. The special defense is going to do anything. I flinch again. Yeah. This team is good at status flinching. It has Thunder Wave Bite on Svilas, and then it has Attracts and Thunder Wave. I think on Swoobat, or attracting something else. And then it has Heart Step and Air Slash that can flinch. That's a bit too good. Sure, it can have some things. No, this is it a Heart Step? It does. Just attract, and then Air Slash, Heart Step. Yeah, the, the team is a bit too good at uh, flinching with status alongside. That's one of its strengths, besides the fact that four, four Pokemon are over 400. Will it be in Micro, I believe, below for the 400 base that total? But they have really good moves to make up for it, and even those that are above it still have pretty good moves. Especially considering they can do the, the status flinching. I mean, while we have taken the lead, it is a fact for Clang is out on our side, but they have lost Smilus and Subat. This is a Seduction, we have hidden power, decent damage. They don't have a super freaking move against me, I believe. Deals about the damage that we can take. Not a big fan of that. It'll be just. Okay, or just not. I decided to just switch to Vullaby, but then Vullaby's just taking on my rock trip. Anyway, to get a safe switch in into Palpatine, I didn't want that to get hit by an Earth Power. So, much shot. Mindful gets damaged. Oh, yeah, they're at full HP again because of the regenerator ability. This time I switched to Lampant. And even though it takes less damage to thank Sneaky Lights, it then gets poisoned, meaning it'll lose um, a lot of his HP. Well, 12% every turn. Dark Chaos faster, Earth Power, Eevee Lights putting in work, and then Lampa can take it the Dark Chaos, but I took more damage again. Moonfu's in, substitutes as a sort of a stalling idea. And that's Lampa going 3-3, three to three, and I'm not too sure if we can do this. Acrobatics, they haven't lost their Salic Berry yet, so this doesn't do too much damage. We can actually take out Moonfu, so we're still looking good. We're Lapid. Unfortunately, Devotion is not a fast Pokemon, and it's taken out. I would really like to use a Hidden Power Psychic on it. Vanillish comes in. Hopefully, I don't get flinched, because that's another flinch thing. I decided to use um, this uh, Hail to heal myself up a bit, to deal a bit of damage to the Whirlipede, to help my survivability, because I didn't expect Whirlipede to hit all that hard, and it'll help me KO them as well. Frostbath, obviously, they're protected. They increase their speed, but are they going to stall out the Hail? Increase their speed to stay first. They were first already. Try, they try to poison me now. Doesn't really work out. Frost Breath does just over 50%, so I could have just used two Frost Breath. Maybe that would have been better. Crit with Steamroller, and then the flinch. It is as if Alkalok is on their side. The many flinches, and then the double crit, and the flinch on the second one. And then... Like, I, I, at least they don't flinch me here. That would have been the ultimate Alka luck, but... Yeah, I, I had no chance about that. They, they used it well, they, that was their way to have a good shot of winning, and... Yeah, I, I've done that a good amount of times before. I thought I might have it. I, I thought I would be able to take down a Whirlipede without the flinch. Vanillax would have very likely taken it out, although Frostbeth could have still missed. Um, but yeah, the crit and then the flinch especially did not help me whatsoever. And Texas Man Gaming actually takes the first game. It was still pretty close though. So I'm confident that I have a good chance of making it 1-1 again. Let's go. Vallaby keeps going. Mindfu. They substitute. I just pluck because that's my best move against Mindfu. 
It is natural they switch. I do want to just, in case they stay in, want to keep plucking. Doesn't really work out here because they do switch. Although, it's still decent damage reduction. They have Metal Claw, lower my defenses. I increase my speed. At least I didn't use Rock Tomb to lower it again. Now it's lowered again, thanks to Tangling Hair. Now they Rock Tomb. I still survive. Lower my defense, increase my speed, lower my speed, get my citrus better to increase my health, and then I get out of there with you turn. By the way, lower my speed. Okay, could you keep up? Palpatone. Prediction is a bit weakened, but here's a switch up a Swoobat. Unfortunately, the, the prediction that didn't work out, and Swoobat resists the full, or fully resists the mud shot. Clang. Good prediction on that, but I was really hoping I would. Um, I would be able to hit them. I thought they made a prediction by studying me and knowing that I wildcard. However, as they say here, they were expecting a gear grind and they just sent in Marowak. One, because it would resist the gear grind, and two, because it could hit back really hard using, um, what if I move there? Flame wheel, I think? So that's pretty interesting. I decided to just gear grind because I didn't feel that I had a good switch in. And they shadow balled, expecting a switch. So I just. I guess keep on gear grinding. This bits of damage. I still didn't feel I had a good switch with Marowak knowing both Flame Wheel and Shadow Ball and having the increased special attack, which is dangerous with Shadow Ball. Luckily, though, Palpatine is faster and Marowak is gone and eight special attack boost along with it. Bubble Beam air shots from Suvat. Suvat's gonna beat me like that even without flinching. So I switch in Lampant. They switch in Zylus. I use Hex. Yeah, that's resisted. Didn't really work out. They can use Bite here. I switch in vanilla, so hopefully I can do something here. Just over half, I don't appreciate that, but at least Frostbath with the confirmed crit takes out the Twilus. I switch back to Lampant, expecting a Steamroller or a Poison Jab. Either way, I'd resist it. Please don't get poisoned this time. I don't. Flame Burst, good damage, good damage. Still got another turn. They get Poison Tail again to try and poison me. Doesn't happen, the luck might be on my side, it's 5-3, looking good, Duck Cho's already weakened. Unfortunately, Lampet is taken out here. And, I, I vaguely recall this as well, um, the earth power from the previous match with Duck Cho against Lampet did under 50%, so I thought I'd just live it. But, as, like, as you might know already with Pokemon, it's... You can approximately calculate how much damage a move does, but there's always a random number from one to... Th I don't know, really know how far it goes. Within the formula that calculates the exact damage dealt, and that's every attack. So where one attack might deal, let's say, um, 107 HP damage, the next attack might deal 121, just because one has a low roll and one has a high roll on the random number generator in the formula of those moves. And the fact that this move, this Earth Power from just now, did 50%, exactly what Lampin had left, and last time it did, did a bit under, will have meant that last time was likely a low roll, and this was a high roll, and we were just on the edge of what a Drug Joe could or could not KO. So, a bit of luck in their part. So, I'm not too happy with that. They switch in their... They're so bad and they can't flinch us, but we can't lower their speed, and then they take us out, and it's 3-3 three to three again. So, Dwosian, I guess. Please don't flinch us. They flinch us! Don't do it again! Oh my god, just let me shockwave you, and we, we were 5-2 ahead! Here. At the important moments, getting the luck. Near the end of battles. That sounds like how I used to be. And if you've watched many of my tournament battles, especially in the tournaments that I've won, <laughs> this happened a lot. And ever since Texas Man Gaming joined, my winning streak was over because they won Tournament 7, then Storm in Tournament 8. And this is not looking good for my Tournament 9 because I won't be able to win that if Texas Man Gaming wins this battle. My luck has transferred. Yeah. 30%, which is their air, flat, air slash flinching chance, seems like 100% because they flinch so much with it. They flinch with bite, they flinch with steamroller, guns and grits. Yeah, um... The transfer of the Alka luck was this battle. I water pulse, take out the Subat. I used water pulse instead of frostbath in case Duck Cho came in. They didn't realize I had it, but Vanilla is now taken out. I needed that to miss. Wasn't any chance.
They had some luck, played played the game one well, and then just the continuous flinching in battle two. Um, yeah, gave them a second win. So Texas Man Gaming moves on to the final, where do they get a mirror match of Team 10? No. Because DS Gaming, our opponent from round four in Swiss, who piloted Team 8, beat Gilade Does Games' Team 10. And moves on to the final, which means in the next tournament video, we're going to face Gilade Does Games again in a rematch of round two of Swiss and face their Team 10. So we won against the Team 10, we lost against the Team 10, we're going to have a third match against it. Meanwhile, the final will be, to, will be between Texas Man Gaming's Team 10, Texas Man Gaming going for their second title, or it'll be DS Gaming with Team 8. Who will get that title? You'll find out in two videos, because the battle for bronze, the battle I'm in, is up next.